In today's video, I'll teach you how to make this presentation using PowerPoint. I'm working with PowerPoint from Microsoft 365 as we'll be using the Morph transition. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that we'll do is we're gonna select a rectangle from the shapes panel and we're gonna insert it to the slide like this. Next, we're gonna select a circle from the shapes panel as well. And by holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna insert it to the right hand side of the slide like this. By holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna select the rectangle first and then the circle. Let's quickly align it by going to align and align to middle and then go to merge shapes and click on subtract. Now let's get rid of the outline by going to shape outline and selecting no outline and then go to shape fill and select the color white. Now it's time to add our images. So I'm just gonna copy paste an image that I found online. I'm gonna make it smaller and put it right here on this side. And it needs to be the same height as the circle that we did. So I'm quickly gonna change the color of the background just to have a reference and see how big I need to make it. And I think this will work so I can just revert back to the white color from the background. And for the rest of our images, we're just gonna make sure that they are the same height. And let's just place it below the other one like this. I quickly tidy up everything by going to crop and changing the crop handles, but this step isn't really necessary. And once you're done adding all your images, you're gonna have something like this. So let's select all of the images, right click on them and click on group. Okay, amazing. So now we just need to add the text corresponding to that image on the left hand side of the image. And when you add the text box for the second image, just make sure it's not in the slide. So just make sure that it's on the gray area like this. I'll repeat it a couple of times for the remaining images. And then let's just go back to the top and right click on the group of images and send them back. Awesome. Let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and it doesn't matter if you're on the first slide or the second slide. In one of them, you're gonna bring all the text and images down until you see everything white in the slide. Just make sure that that's the first slide of the presentation. And now on this slide, I'm gonna paste the logo of the Olympics that I found online and we're gonna use it as a reference to trace our own logo. So let's select a circle from the shapes panel and by holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna match it to the red ring. And we just need to make sure they're kind of the same size. And then you're gonna right click on it and click on format shape. And first we're gonna get rid of the field. So select no field, then go to line and make sure that you have solid line selected. And let's increase the width of the stroke to around eight to 8.5. And we're just trying to match the width of the stroke to the actual logo. And then let's just select the eyedropper tool from the color option and just click on the red of the logo to match it. Now, the great thing is that you only need to hold control on your keyboard and drag the circle to a different position to duplicate it. So that way, the only thing that we need to do is to change the color of that ring. And I'll just do this very quickly with the rest of the colors until we have completed the logo. And then you can just select the image that we used as a reference and just delete it. All right, let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. And on this slide, the only thing that we'll do is we're gonna zoom out and take all of the rings outside of the slide to the gray area like this. And we're gonna delete all the images and text boxes as well because we don't need them at this stage. Amazing. So now if you go to the second slide, go to transitions and click on morph, we just pretty much animated a logo very quickly using PowerPoint. All right, let's select all of the rings from the second slide and copy them with Ctrl C. Let's go to the next slide and press Ctrl V. Let's go to shape format, align and click on align to middle. And now let's right click on them and click on group. Amazing, so now holding control on your keyboard, let's make everything larger like this and let's move them all to the right like this. And we're kind of creating a border for our image. So now let's right click on the group of rings, go to format shape and here let's increase the width of the stroke to 20. Amazing, we can close the format shape panel then right click on the group of rings and click on group and then select on group. 
I'm gonna zoom out a bit and now I'm just gonna spread the rings a little bit more because I think the effect will look even better. Now quickly repeat it with the rest of the rings and now if you go to transitions and click on morph we have this insane effect where it kind of looks like we zoom into the logo and then the content slides up. And now you can imagine that the rest of the process is quite easy, right? So the only thing that we need to do is to select all of the text boxes that we have and let's just move everything up until we have the next text in the slide and we'll repeat the process with the image so let's just slide the group of images up until we see the next image and for the rings by holding shift on your keyboard you can select multiple objects so let's select all of them and let's just move everything to the left like this and for the ring that we have that's covering the text, let's just move it outside of the slide to the left like this. You should already have the morph transition applied, but if not, just go to transitions and click on morph. And let's just repeat the process with the rest of our slides and the rest of our rings. And obviously the topic of my presentation is the Olympics, but if you change the color of the rings, you can pretty much replicate these as a very cool slideshow for any presentation. And the last thing that we need to do is to create that ripple effect for the text. And you only need to do this once and you can copy to the rest of the slides, okay? So let's go to insert circle and holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna insert a circle right here. If you want to make sure that it's aligned, just go to align and click on align to middle and create a copy of the circle by pressing control D and put it in the exact same position as the other one. And here, let's just make it slightly larger by holding shift on your keyboard. Let's repeat the process one more time, control D to duplicate the circle put it in the exact same position and let's make it larger like this. Let's go to shape fill and select no fill and then let's go to shape outline and select the color of our first ring and we're going to change the weight of the outline as well to six points. With the shape selected go to home and double click on the paintbrush right here and just apply the same formatting to the rest of the circles. And for the animation, let's select the smaller circle, then go to animations and click on fade. Then we're gonna go to this area and select with previews. And then let's click on animation pane right here. Now we're gonna add a second animation. So click on add animation and scroll down to fade out where it says exit. So now you'll have two items in the animation pane. Right click on the second one, go to effect options, click on timing and here we're going to change to with previous. And we're also going to add a delay. So just type in 0.2 seconds and click on OK. And now let's move on to the second circle. Click on add animation and first we're going to add a fade animation. And for this one, we're going to right click on this item and click on start with previous. And now let's add an other animation. Let's add the fade out animation. And this time on this item right here, we're going to right click on it, click on effect options, go to timing, select start with previous and the delay we're going to add 0.4 seconds. I promise you this will look amazing and it's worth it and you only need to do it once. So. Let's select the last circle, let's go to add animation, click on fade. You guessed it, you're gonna right click on this item and click on start with previous. And finally, let's add a fade out animation. So go to add animation, scroll down to fade out. And here we're gonna right click on this element, click on effect options, go to timing, select start with previous. And here we're gonna delay 0.6 seconds. So now if you play the effect, you have this ripple effect. Amazing, right? So now by holding shift on your keyboard, just select all of the circles and copy them with control C. Then let's go to the next slide and paste them with control V. And here we just need to go to shape format and on shape outline, change the color to the next color. And once you're done adding your circles to all of the slides, I'm just gonna add the title of my presentation to every single slide on the top right corner. Make sure that Morph is applied to all of your slides and you're done. You can download this presentation from my website, the link is in the description box of this video. If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also check out these other two tutorials, I think you might like them. I'll see you soon!